Holy, this will take you away in a heartbeat. To the channel we had a great evening of trout we had a little bit of deer sausage we went to bed and I actually didn't end up sleeping in the truck last night I slept in one of these awesome tents but this one right here I'm not sure who makes it but it is like a nice canvas tent and oh dear goodness it made a difference super toasty let me show you the digs I know it's pretty dark in here so I'm gonna turn on a little light now one of you sent this in to me i apologize because i don't remember who it was but uh please leave a comment down below because this little tool right here is perfect for fishing camping situations hunting whatever you're doing you turn this on and then you've got lights you have a usb adapter to charge your phone you have a uh, carport uh not carport dev whatever you call it cigarette lighter adapter and you've got all these switches up here that you can turn on to turn on the different dealios. This came in handy to charge the phone last night and just have a little extra light. So if you're the fishing freak that made that, I hope you're watching this, uh, comment down below so everyone can know who you are. I'm sure somebody wants one of these, they're really cool. Look how much room we got in this tent. We have the space heater back here behind us. We had that rolling. Got to try out the new, uh, the new Teton sleeping bag. It was super warm, I actually got a little hot. My back feels like it fell off a mountain though. I picked up one of these little just ground uh, inflatable um, little bed cushion thingies. It was not the right move. I do realize I look like I'm a cowboy inside of like a weird nightclub right now. So we're going to shut this off and we're going to go back outside because it is morning. The birds are chirping and it's almost time to go fishing. I like to wake up, get a little... A little fire action, a little smoke cologne for the ladies when you go home. Y'all, I got one of these cuts. You ever get one of these? Holy cow. I got one of these cuts with six pound test fishing line yesterday. You know, you, you're tying it and then I actually was stuck on a rock and I was trying to pull it and I wrapped it around my finger and pulled it. Don't do that. Those are the ones that never heal. Goal for the day, catch some more trout. You can keep six a day. I'm gonna carry 10 home. We're gonna do a, a cooking session. OSG's got a little recipe. That's gonna be over on the Lake Life Family Channel if you guys haven't subscribed to that. It's basically me, OSG, Emmy, just doing our thing at the tree house, hanging out in the outdoors and at home, essentially. And if you're new to the channel, all my hunting and fishing videos, they live right here, you and I, out in the woods. And I do have to say, if y'all uh, have never used a one wipe Charlie, it's a game changer. When you're in the woods and you got you got a wipe, that's the way to do it right there. A minty, fresh uh, after experience, I must say. Enough of that though. Let's get into breakfast and then let's give it a dangle. to head out suited up ready to go now I should have four trout something happened last night I don't know if one of the raccoons got in here the raccoons got all up in our trash but I only have three freaking trout I've been looking I've been trying to figure out what happened at the very best I can only take home nine now anyways raccoons what are you gonna do missing trout I didn't lock the cooler down that's my fault so I'm taking this little box. I've got some more spinners in there. Let's get out to the beautiful crisp river. Get us some trout on the line. <laughs> Twerk on them trout, baby. <laughs> we have white bubbles on the water today, which means it, it is flowing at a higher rate and the water color is also more stained. That is 
gonna be a difficult dangle. Hopefully these little spinners will be good. They're putting off some vibration. Word of caution to anyone getting into the river after it rains, be careful. Water flow is no joke. No idea how deep this is right here. Let's see how this goes. I can't see the bottom. It's scary here. A little sketchalicious right here. No idea how deep this is. I'm gonna grab one of these trees just in case I go off into the deeps here. Okay, here we go now. Cannot see the water nearly as good. Okay, Let's see what these fish are made out of. If I was a trout, I would uh, I would just be honkered down in a hole somewhere. Yeah, this is like this is scary. This is scary not knowing how deep it is. Very very tiny steps. Holy, this will take you away in a heartbeat. Together here, son. Got him. No. Well, broke off in the first few seconds. Switching to uh, white, heavier rooster tail. Well, that didn't last long. Let me tell you something, six pound test. I'm honestly scared to go out there and get it. Well, there's two rooster tails down. Look at all these sick rocks. We're trying to go down river because the flow is just too strong. Couple, see what happens. Yeah, throw a couple of test casts. What a different day it is, y'all. This thing is just muddy and it is moving. Like, I was legit freaked out just knowing that if I slip, I'm probably gonna fall and I can't see the rocks. Like, if I, my foot gets wedged in there and I fall over, I'm dead. I don't have much experience with this kind of water, so I'm not out here trying to kill myself. Okay, I'm gonna try. Oh, I just fell on my ass. So we've come back, we've had a little lunch break, had ourselves some deer sausage and some s'mores by the fire, just getting warmed up. Nobody has caught anything. There's like six of us here. No one's landed, had a bite, anything. Don't think it's gonna get better because the rain uh, was a lot farther north. It's rained here all night, but it was farther north and it's going to raise the river even higher. There's people camped on the other side of the river. There's only one way in. They're not even gonna get it out. God bless their little fishing and camping soul. At least I have some in the cooler that I can take home to OSG. Let's get back out to the Yoohoo waters and see if we can get ourselves a rainbow. Did you like that there? That was a lot of candy references and that whole spiel, the s'mores, Yoohoo, rainbow. Yeah, taste it. It's looking as if we're gonna have to punt on this one, fishing freaks. A couple more of the fishermen came back after being out there a few hours and hadn't had a nibble, and the water keeps rising. And Mr. Sticky Bandit Raccoon Pants took one of my trout, so now I'm down one. So I was really hoping to catch some more today to make up for that, but it ain't happening. I'm thinking I'm in trouble now though, because I'm about to go home and have to buy some camping gear, some legit camping gear. Those tents were awesome. Lance, he's a he's a super anal dude, so he he loves to have the exact thing that he needs, and if he doesn't have it, he builds it, which he's got amazing talent for that. But he was showing me all this stuff that he's been using up here at this camp for a lot of years. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go buy it. I really enjoy doing that, y'all. Hopefully you like these kind of videos, because I think I'm gonna come back up here and do some more, and I can't wait till Emmy's old enough and we can do some camping videos. I gotta come back today, because I gotta go to this boat show, and one of you guys that won the box that I, uh, that I did, on the last video before I left to Mexico, I gotta pick a winner. So we're gonna go home right now, we're gonna pick a winner and we're gonna get that box up and uh, send that out to you. So stay tuned. Oh, it's good to be home in the OSG kitchen. Yes. Yeah. You're finally home, I feel like you've been gone for so long. It was just a day. You've been gone for like a week and a half. Well, that's true, I was in Mexico. Don't look at these pre-made biscuits. This is, <laughs> this no, is not a hell of a normally No, pre-made biscuits. You wouldn't Shh. dare. It's okay. Okay, well, um, we had some awesome biscuits this morning. They were cooked in a Dutch oven. Not dissimilar to this, but when you camp with a Dutch oven, you get a camp version. It has a uh, lip around the lid, and you put hot coals on top Ooh. and the bottom. Oh. So it cooks both ways. 
So we were essentially cooking at 350 for about 30 minutes on this biscuits. Duck. I want to check out the duck. This is uh, some of the duck from this year that was shot. Really some good flavors. But this has been simmering pretty much all day since noon. So yes. six hours now. The perfect thing. We needed this last night. Honey, we were uh, huddled in a tent. This was like six dudes with the rain coming down. I and know. we were cooking <laughs> sausage and smoky and uh, we were just trying to get warm. And oh, it was you're wet. texting me. What you get for being an outdoorsman who loves to fish? I think she was a little upset that I was going because Emmy was having a little issue yesterday. And we got Emmy a new toy. We just put her in it. I just put her in it and it looks like it's working phenomenally. I mean, she's watching football right now, so she's pretty happy, but this thing is called an Einstein. What's this? A uh, baby Einstein. Baby the, Einstein? I think that's the uh, company name. She's glued to the football. <laughs> I got her an oceanscape. Her munchment came in too. Have you guys ever had one of these? A munchment, no. Or it's a, you they put chew it, on their hand? Yeah, because she is teething right now. So mm. I got her one of these things and you put it on her hand and then she goes at it. Well, speaking of munchies, I also have some trout. I only have three because a raccoon took one and I ate two while we were at camp because I was hungry. Uh, I was thinking some asparagus with lemon risotto and lemon herb crusted trout. <laughs> Oh, sounds amazing. Sounds good. Right? Lemon herb crusted trout? Yes. Okay, next day here, guys. It's time to pick a winner. Uh, I got really sleepy last night after I had some of that duck stew. And I was just kind of holding Emmy watching the Cowboys game and uh, I passed out. There's something about coming home from a cold outdoor trip and then having warm stew. It just makes you sleepy. But I wanted to make sure to pick a winner on this video. All y'all that commented uh, on my, my video were. It's my last day with my boat, basically. I'm, I'm literally about to go take the boat in, go hang out with some of you guys up there and get my new boat. And I had to do a little bit more extra cleanup. If the box is absolutely stuffed, so one of you is gonna get a lot of gear in this box. And I've gone through so many comments and I wish I could give boxes away to, to everyone, but there can only be one this time. Maybe I should do like a mid-year cleanup and do another rando box. So I wanted to pick someone that uh, really needed the lures, maybe couldn't afford all the lures that um, they want to, and uh, just needs a box at the time. Just looking for comments that spoke to me. This is who I ended up picking right here, Sherry Sales. So one of the top reasons I picked them, and the reason I say them is because it's Sherry and her husband, and they, uh, they've had some deaths in the family, and fishing is a coping mechanism. I, I've preached that on this channel. Obviously it helped me with brain tumor and tons of other stuff in my life when I was younger, but I try to preach that because uh, fishing is an outlet and it really does help you escape from things that are going on in your life. Uh, basically explains that in her comment and she says the only problem with uh, trying to learn new techniques and do all this stuff is it gets expensive quickly, which it does and I understand, so I wanna help you guys out. Some of the additions to the box include one of these uh, Guggen Tackle boxes, little water sealed ones. And uh, there's a bunch of jigs in there. There's some random crankbaits and uh, different hooks and stuff like that. And then uh, more Guggen baits. Came across some more Guggen baits. And I've got, uh, there's a fishing reel in there. Um, there's a bunch of jigs. Um, what else? There's some more spinner baits and stuff, some hooks that I found. So this thing is absolutely stuffed and ready to go to the to the next dangler. This is it. We're taking her. We're taking her to be sold if you guys wanna get this boat. There's nothing wrong with it. It's a great boat. That is going to be available at Fun and Sun Boats in Hearst, Texas. Also in animal news, we have had a severe rooting situation overnight by Gimpy. Gimpy is the hog with the limp, and he comes in every so often. He just eats up the yard. Sometimes he lays down, but you see, he, he always roots up like the leafy, woodsy areas. He doesn't really root up the green grass. So at least he's nice about it. I kind of like him, as long as he's not digging holes in the middle of the yard. I've got to get these trout up to the kitchen for OSG, and I've got to head up to Fun and Sun to get the new boat and meet some of you guys. So subscribe right here if you like what's going on here at the channel. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see more camping stuff. 
going out on different adventures, hunting, fishing, maybe just even camping. I think it's a lot of fun. I enjoy doing it. It's the element of surprise out there. You just kind of get in the truck, get the tent, go out there in the outdoors, and, and you just kind of receive what the elements give you. It's nature at its finest. Either way, I hope you're having a blessed day in the outdoors, y'all, and I'll see you next time.